you know, I often try to work with the quality of our presence and our output rather than the, 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 the absolute amount. So is it, you know, I, I would say it's better to give eight hours, even eight hours of pretty hard energy is hard for the course of the day, but it's better than 12 hours of energy where we're a little scattered, we're dropping balls. So can we increase, you know, relatively and not to maximize, but optimize the quality of what we're up to by, in fact, bringing in more cyclicality, pauses, breaks, moments of reflection. And that's a hard sell to folks that feel that they they just always have a to-do list that's longer than they'll ever complete. And that's actually the beautiful work that I'm up to, which is that folks mm -hmm. who start to get that and can enact that and can can live that way, don't even argue. It's like, well, of course, that makes sense. You know, if, if you take a break and go for a walk, you might realize that three of those five things on your to-do list could be skipped and you've saved an hour with a 10-minute walk and you have five minutes longer. Um, so I really, really like that. Uh, and, you know, yes, it's it, in, in bringing our natural selves to the world, we do well by honoring and, and tapping into those beautiful cycles that we're part of, as opposed to denying them. And then, in, you know, that can cause disease and all that.